Thank you so much for watching Tomorsta Music. I just rewatched my old video that <laughs> title is really long. Five improvisation tips. Uh, five great. I can't read it. Uh, five great improvisation tips that. Uh, what is it? Yeah, do not do not make you as just okay guitarist anymore. O already confusing title, but somehow this video got so many views still now days, you know. And just because I did a very simple concept that um, the chord progression first, uh, B minor. B minor is really good on the guitar somehow, you know. It's because of center of a position. The A. So you have to really understand the chords first, you know? And E minor 7 and F sharp 7. And I'm going to, you know, point out what you should do, what you should not do. And for example, a lot of people, you know, uh, after I play any solo, um, people ask me, what scale are you playing? That question is wrong because chords are moving. So scale, of course, several different scales there. You can't just determine like a mathematic way, oh, this and that, you know, more than that. In other words, you have to know chord structure. Little bit you have to know about theory. So the first one, like when you hear this music, it's minor sounds like a minor so you know you have to really understand B minor that it's a key so one minor and then whole step down flat seven then four minor seventh and a five seventh so let's see it's already it's a minor key it's a little you know difficult to understand but just a simple one and go flat seven Simple is good. Four minor. You don't have to know so much like that. That's number one. You have to know the chords with a little bit of theory behind. Okay? So I'm going to show you this time seven different ideas play over. So the first one is like, you know, um, definitely you should know the chords. But let's do this, you know, intentionally like, you know, uh, First one, okay, first one, you should not do, think this way, is a shape. You know, first time learning pentatonic scale, no bad idea, but if you do this, you don't go anywhere. Sounds like this. You, you're chasing shape, so already you are not using any rhythm. Because so many notes avoiding play rhythm. Because once it runs, sounds like okay. <laughs> okay is not okay, you know. So the first one, you should not use pentatonic shapes. Okay? Next one, the first one we did. You have to understand chord structure. B minor, whole step down to A major, flat seven. Then you go to four minor, E minor seven, and five seven. Then maybe you wanna practice. No reverb. You should you should know triads, especially top three strings. So B minor. So this is not a lesson about the triads. So you want to look up triads lesson, especially uh, foundation triad at Guitar Wisdom. Because if you learn that, 
you get best education you ever get because I teach all the details. I do not use tablature because tablature are not really helping you to make you a better guitar player because that's just a fast uh, way to do it. But the, you know, best way to do is you know when you play you know, root minor third fifth. This is a major. I'm a minor, so like a minor third fifth root. You know, first inversion. You know, five root and flat three, which is. Um, second inversion but again you have to understand major first and change to minor so no memorization involved you know now so um if you want to learn that please you know get to guitar wisdom so that way you won't waste your time you know and now a like that okay so now e minor i start from second inversion F sharp from first inversion. So all you have to know major minor inversions. If you don't know it, not good. Great player always knows these things. Okay. So that's number three triads. And now number four. Sometimes don't be afraid to use a simple phrase. So like you know. So I add a reverb a little bit. Like this. Even like now this phrase. So, you know, technique involves a little bit of phrasing, rhythm, pentatonic, bending, so many, you know, little things involved. And you have to practice blues, you know, that's blues, right? Blues. So that's number four, using simple phrase. Don't be afraid to play the same phrase, but you make a little bit like... Like kind of crying. Like BB King. <laughs> it's it's a it's a major. So basically I'm using sort of BB King phrase, insert that. Wait. And I got this Mr. Music from Brighton, Boston, Massachusetts. And Tom, thank you so much for teachers. And you know, my street, Tom lives on my street. <laughs> so anyway, that's funny, but yeah, thank you. This is great, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that's like in a fourth, right? One, two, three, four. Yes. I'm sorry. One was pentatonic shape. You don't want to think that. And then number two was chords, seventh chords, and all that. And number uh, number three 
is a triad. You know what? Let me. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm just you know improvising a little bit. Yeah, and number three. Oh my God. Then. Oh wow. Simple phrase. That's number four. All right. And seventh chord arpeggio. Next one. And then major. Major seventh arpeggio. And then sort of a diminished arpeggio. Yeah, all right. Number seven, num almost I have eight. Yeah, so that uh, original video I was making at the Berkeley, um, I, I go there really early because I don't want to hit any traffic. So I leave my house around little after six and I arrive at the Berkeley right before seven and I have a coffee, kind of in a first I re prepare for the day for the teaching part and then usually around 8 a.m. or 7 usually 8 a.m. you know or 7 45 I start making video that sometime I have a th two three different ideas so I make a three video with the <laughs> old cell phone that's really old cell phone and then um, I post that on the same day sometime you know and yeah hard working yeah but somehow that video hit so much so i thought review the video then i can get into a little bit more detail because always review always work harder to get the next step you know all right so first one pentatonic scale you shouldn't play it's too much shape and next next second one chords and third one triads fourth one simple phrase now fifth one is a seventh arpeggio yeah seventh arpeggio means like you know like so again seventh arpeggio section i have so many lessons like that you know especially fifth string okay and then um a don't worry about too much because that's more like a cushion. So like, like this. See? Now, so four chord, it's really different because one and then you know, flat seven is kind of a you know. Uh, in diatonic, you know, almost uh, connecting nicely. Number four, ah, different. Now four, you can play minor seventh arpeggio, like root, minor third, fifth, plus seven, root, minor third, five, plus seven. It's not too bad, right? Now, interesting part is, if you play minor, then if you play major seventh arpeggio above minor third, that's become a little jazzy. So minor third means root second minor third. So what happened? So you play E minor and a G G major seventh arpeggio. Now what's happening is as a theory, flat three, five, flat seven, nine. If you don't understand degree, then that's you need basic theory because that way you understand that little jazzy approach. So minor, th minor, um, major th seventh arpeggio above minor third. You know, like that. that's a real nice sound. You know, and then other thing is that uh, like major seventh arpeggio from here. That's what. Stevie Ribbon does. Like Stevie does minor nine. So he understood major seventh arpeggio kind of work for that's minor nine in a way. So just a little things, you know, really uh, fun to play. So that, 
minor seventh arpeggio, major seventh arpeggio above minor third. Above. Now one more here, seventh arpeggio, but but this is more like a diminish, you know. It's a, it's the same shape like that. This was really exciting moment for me. I learned something, it worked. So it means like when I was learning jazz, I was learning a harmonic minor, like Once again, if you want to learn all the scales, I have music theory section at the Guitar Wisdom, 20, more than 20 um, theory. This is one of the harmonic minor scale, you know. So if you play uh, B harmonic minor, there's a note that really works over F sharp 7. Sometimes we call mixed Lydian flat 9, flat 13, or uh, Phrygian dominant, you know, more rock player. So basically, you know, root, flat 9, major 7, <laughs> major 3rd. So really, root, flat 9, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Flat 13, flat 7, root. Once again, this is all theory. It's just about like a... Theory is almost like to me, you know math. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, wrong way, but just, you know, not math exactly. Um, basically, just like as if you understand number system. Important, right? How to count 1 through 10. So, you want to buy $4.00 something you you know hand the ten dollars you understand you're supposed to get six dollars back theory is just like that you know it's not big deal but you have to know otherwise you lose <laughs> you know so so this case f sharp seven kind of jazzy approach but what happened is major third fifth flat seven flat nine that so um, okay that's it that's seventh right and yeah seven that's seven okay you want to learn each one topic and you master it if you don't know don't um, worry about because you step back go back and learn theory section that's it you know and then after all you learn everything something people say break rules that means it's not about forgetting rules. It's just about make more tasty idea uh, besides um, like rules. Okay. That's why here's a difference between working on triads or working on scale. That's like a practicing. Okay. Practicing is you have a theme, goal, and you work on it. Okay. So a little bit stiff little bit mechanical because you're working on it but then eventually you learn everything and you feel and you let everything go you know that's hard to do but but the, before you do that you have to learn all the system so that you understand so that's where people always are confused well i want to be really great songwriter i don't want to learn music theory because that really bothers me become too stiff that's not right idea why john mayer went to berkeley why he bothered to go to berkeley because he want to learn more he want to test himself how much he understood and he what he needs okay whatever he's lear learning he learned he could choose to use or not use it's not necessary to use every uh, speck of it but Good, great part of it is John learned basic theory and basic guitar skills. So that means he can learn any song he wants. That means he can write any song. 
But in order to write good, great song, you have to learn great song. Without that, no way you can get the idea. The same way, guitar solo, you have to learn somebody's solo, but technique you have to have so that you won't waste your time. You learn something great, but then gradually you add your taste, okay? So once again, there's a chord progression. <laughs> After you learn everything, something like that see that's a cb roll that's like you know two notes you can't do that right away you have to learn a little bit and then you hit the wrong note and then you understand oh there's wrong note but next to it there's right notes but you have to really understand how to get that so i should have shut up now and let you practice and thank you so much for watching tomosta music and uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you so much for your kind words and everything i think i'm so lucky get up and play guitar all day think about guitar and i love guitar and amazing and i make a living with this amazing because of you you know without people i cannot do this so thanks again all right so if you like my channel, please share this with your friends and please subscribe. If you want to study more, if you want to get to next level, definitely join Guitar Wisdom. You know, um, I think that's the best way to do because that was, that's my passion, you know, making best video for you. And YouTube channel is really inspiration, you know and uh, inspiration to you and my appreciation to you so that's it and I'm going to use uh, YouTube um, community and sometime soon I'm gonna do like asking you what song would you like to learn and maybe I'm thinking um, you know play the song first time and then you know figuring out on the spot using theory but then explain next stages exactly what's going on and third one i'm gonna jam enjoy so you understand how to learn how to enjoy music and music is great for your mind and soul and everything you know so that's it all right so have a great time all right see you soon take care thank you so much